And then, hello everybody. Welcome back to more The Knights of Pen and Paper. I am Bob Maud. And you know what? I want to go to the Frozen Toe Passage. I need to go there. Uh, oh, nice passage. Burn him down. You're not a mage. You can't burn him. You lack the power, druid. Ah, oh, well. Travel! Oh. Oh. Right. I need money. Abandon. Uh, you know what? Sunset Princess. Please, adventurers, my sister has been captured by some evil forces. Speaking to the volcano of the Phoenix. Hmm. There it is. Thirty-ish. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna skip that. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna travel as far as my money will take me. No. No. All right. To the Miami Beach for a a quick a quick bit of murder. Fight many shovels. It's just kind of one of the things I kind of wanted to to discuss is when you are running a game. Uh, one of the things you should definitely consider is we're describing scenes. Um, you really want to draw in multiple senses, which is actually a Recently, I've had a chance to, uh, one of my games, one of the characters playing a blind character. And it's it's only when you're doing that sort of thing, when you have to, that you realize just how much, um, quite often we're, we rely on, uh, our senses for all these, like, our, especially sight, right, like our main sense, like, you know, you want to describe things, the first thing that always comes to mind is the visual stuff. so much you can, that you can use to set atmosphere with that. Uh, one of the great things you can use about um, in a longer campaign and using why am I I should be doing more actual stuff and using um, the weather, right? Because you know, the weather has more than just, you know, how it looks outside like, there's the chill of the wind or, you know, a summer breeze can bring the smell of flowers or there's lots of descriptive stuff you can go for, right? You get to die. And then later, you know, you get to talk about how, um, you can talk about, you know, uh, you can use the seasons and your, your in-depth description of them to, uh, show a progression of time that might otherwise, uh, not be there. Right, you know what? Let's let's try to go to this Phoenix Cave, right? Do you, do you... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop here for a second. The portal's opened. Huh. Let's hang out with the wizards for a little while. Well, they got a shop. They got a blacksmith. This at least, and that's nice. All right, uh, the portal is open, but I am ignoring that to go to the to saving uh, uh, the sister of the princess. Mm -hmm. Defeat all two enemy waves. All right. Well, these guys are probably a little tougher than I'm used to, so hibernate. Concussion. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's hard. Well, let's get a weakening going. Thank you. Um, he's on fire. 
Good to know. Fireball on. And yes, a restoration spell. Deeply necessary to my poor on fire guy. That uh, shouldn't last too long, though. Oh! Nicely critical. Keep healing him. This is a little tougher than I expected it to be. But yeah, um, when describing scenes, use all the senses to try to create a true thing. Man, I love how long hibernation lasts. Perfect for these dudes. Speed 2. So you know what? I've got time to fireball him. him. You know what? I'm going to put him to sleep again. <laughs> Whoops. That didn't work as it planned. Oh, well, he's concussed. There. This will last. Because my concussion lasts three turns. Thanks to all the nifty doodads and whatnots I've got. More than enough to kill that angry fire trend. Yay! There's a pizza. Now it's an angry, angry bird. Let's, uh, let's make the bird bleed and let's try concussion. Stun immune. On fire. The phoenix is on fire. Apparently, that works. Strangely. And let's go with regeneration on our trusty, trusty leader. Super effective. You know, I don't think this Phoenix is going to be so tough. It's just a flappy chicken. A flappy fire chicken. Oh. Alright, well. First of all, before I worry about, you know, uh, saving the princess's sister, I want these wonderful loots. And, uh, I noticed that there's a ring attached to a hand that's on fire in the Molten Lava. I... wonder... What could that be a reference for? Why... Uh, Terminator 2, of course. Clearly, I mean, that, that has to be the case, right? Hello, Fire Sword. Oh, lovely adventurers. I was so afraid of dying. We're safe now. Yay! Ooh, she gave us a fish. Um, I guess we could just travel away. Go to the temple. You know, let's go to the Wizards of the East Coast. Even though it's on the west. So we got some double gangers collecting straw. Uh, you know what? I want to collect the straw. You know, hugging a strange device. Get closer and realize the animal is a beaver and he's hugging his TV. Don't know how that appeared in the pen and paper world, but I must say it isn't an illusion. The animal looks at you in a vo weird voice. He asks, Hey, uh, hey would you help me say Mr. Martelli? I love your game. I wouldn't expect to see you around here. How can we help you out, Mr. Beaver? I need the glass straws to build my shelter. I can't leave here. Let me find a middle field. We're heading back there. We'll be back in a few. All right, middle field. All right, that's, that's not so bad. I don't feel so bad about that. Anyway, oh, oh, I wanted to stop in that cave. Ah, oh, because it probably would have had loot. And by loot, I mean... Blacksmith ores I could gather for myself. Mm, yes. 
<laughs> Five straws. Killing the deadly spiders is my job. Mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe all seven was a bit more than I wanted to deal with right off the bat. Oh well. When in doubt, just keep stabbing. And dropping meteors on enemies. <laughs> nah, this should be fine. Totally fine. So as long as I keep dropping meteors. Though I may want to stop somewhere and rest soon. <laughs> Claw you. Anyway, I think that's I think this is more or less under control. They've all been weakened successfully. Just one left. Can we kill it? We can Hey, we got all the straw we needed. Got extra earthquakes. Skill points. Two points. Ooh. Sorry, I like my single targety do me death. You've got two points. Let's go with restoration. Alright, well, we'll upgrade the damage, I suppose. Anyone else miss have some levels I didn't notice? Nope. Alright. Wizards of the, of the East Coast. <laughs> Killing every human who uses the creation. Those monsters. Alright, now I want to stop. In the cave. Oh. 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 Frankenstein zombies. Cute. Ooh. Ah, they're weak to divine magic. I suppose I should have expected that. There we go. Oh, I like that that big seventy four. Well, you know what? Just just attack. So this gives a good uh, ch chance to test out the smite. Eh, not bad. There we are. Should be all too easy now. Blong. Blong. There we are. I slew the... Ooh. Ooh. An XP potion. Yes, you know what? Yay, he got 500 experience. I uh, guess we travel on. Oh. Nothing in the cave. Well, that's a shame. It's, it's glinting and shiny. I was really kind of hoping that there would be a little bit more for me. Ah, well. What? What? I'm a little confused. I just don't know what I'm dealing with here. But it's weak, and that's all that counts. I mean... Is it supposed to be a, a, like, a glitched out person? 
Is that what the Because it kind of looks like... Well, when it's at the top, it kind of looks like there's a, oh, an, almost a face there? Hmm. Haroom. I am deeply confused. There we go. Goodbye, whatever you were. Alright, so. We followed them. Thank you for the help. Even those green pigs, they've been watching us. Green pigs? Yeah, ask the birds on middle field about them. Hmm. I can't see what happened tomorrow after I love TV. The green the birds in the middle field? Curious. I'm curious to know. Starting to get a bit of diminishing returns there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So is there like a max? Interesting. Um, you know what? I'm very curious. So we're going to take a break. We'll start out t next next time fresh to investigate these the birds in the middle field. Is it a ruse? We'll find out. See you all soon.